All right, sunrise. Uh, heading up Mount Ontario via the Browns Creek Trail. It's nice now, it's supposed to heat up. So usually this is the untrafficked, don't see anyone the entire time route. So I've read, but I found out this morning that the High Lonesome 100 foot race follows this course exactly. So they're like, I don't know, like seven or 10 miles behind me, started at 6 a.m. Uh, I'm sure I'll see them at some point. Um, probably, definitely on the way down. Who knows if they'll catch me on the way up. That's one nice thing about the High Lonesome. The trail is totally marked, so I shouldn't get lost. So starting from the other side in St. Elmo, this is like a, a four by four road up. That's actually what most people take up. Makes no sense. This should be the main trail. It's way nicer. Just soak the hat in snow melt water. Feels amazing. It's so exposed. Like almost five and a half miles in, but I, I still have like 2,000 feet of climbing. Yikes. So the Jeeps and trucks are out now on the 4x4 road. Uh, so I'm taking a different way down, which hopefully isn't a huge mistake, but I already got honked at by a truck because I guess I'm supposed to be walking on the outside of the road is what he said when he passed me. So just gonna avoid any more interactions like that. Alright, just filled up the hydration pouch, so should be good. Five more miles.
All right, I just had my last calories. I thought that I had a whole pack of chews in this vest, uh, but I didn't. So I was counting on like 200 more calories. Don't have it. Hopefully only like two and a half or three more miles to go. So at least I've got water. Done, did it, dusted, 16 and a half miles. It seems like a really long time ago that it was sunrise. <laughs> Uh, somehow have no snacks in the car as well so <laughs> still hungry luckily this is I think the closest 14er to home so won't be long until I eat yeah.